Folks, Beth and I went to the zoo again. We've gone to the same zoo, the San Diego Zoo, twice in a span of two months. Once because we wanted to go, just as a fun little date, right? Just a fun little activity for us to do, see some animals, walk around, buy a silly little capybara hat as a souvenir. We did all that. And by the way, the capybara hat looks awesome. It's Beth's hat. She lets me wear it sometimes. We, this time we went back because Beth's mom heard about our awesome... Can, can we please load into the game? The, the YouTube viewers are going to be very confused. Usually I do the, the intro and then we load into the game and then we're dealing and wheeling. It's a little bit awkward, but it's nothing like an entertainer of my caliber can't handle. Sweats profusely from every single crevice in my body. This time we went back. Because Beth's uh, mom had a birthday, happens once a year, and we went back because she wanted to go. And of course, we're going to accompany them to the zoo. Several things happened. I'm going to start you off. This is, this is a horrible YouTube video. Okay, thank God. We finally got into the game. I'm going to start you off with a hot one, okay? Uh, call me Sean Evans. Left Lord DC'd. Oh, it's going to be one of those. Am I going to have to retell all of these damn stories? So that the YouTube video, I'm not going to. I'm absolutely not going to. We're cheating. We're pawning. We're cheating. Call my chi one more time. I mean, this is a great position to be in, folks. I don't. I don't really know what I'm supposed to discard at this point. But hey, I'll. I'll take it. I mean, could even throw away the nine of bamboo, but that seems a little. Seems a little silly at a time like this. We went to the zoo. Hey, what do you think is more entertaining at the zoo? Looking at the animals or looking at the children that are around? I'll give you a hint. It's the children. Animals just lie around and munch, munch, munch on the hay that they're given, okay? Um, but children are freaking weird at the zoo, okay? We went to the zoo. There was a child. There was a small boy that we were walking behind. And he literally... And that's why we switched to the east one, by the way. We're just slurping on White Lord's juice right now. <laughs> Um, there was a small boy in front of us who I swear to God, I swear to God, he would walk three steps, do a cartwheel, and then like walk three more steps and do a cartwheel. Now, he was with a group of two other small children. One of those other small children did a cartwheel like once, you know what I mean? And she was very good at the cartwheel. And and Beth and I, you know, we headcanned it. In our, in our minds afterwards, and we were like, oh, okay, I think she was the more experienced cartwheeler, and uh, he had just learned how to do a cartwheel, and so he's doing cartwheels over and over and over. Left Lord returns, thank goodness. We all struggle with McDonald's Wi-Fi. Oh, no, it's no problem that it ruined the intro to my YouTube video. Oh, no, it's okay. People watching as a sport, this kid was giving tens, okay? He was, he was cartwheeling, and it was so funny that for the rest of the day, I, it was so, like, genuinely random, like, we're playing Club Penguin, you know, he he ha, LFMAO, I am to Penguin of Doom, Raffle Copter, but it was so funny that for the rest of the day, I would just do this to Beth, like, at, at random intervals, being like, and now, I, and now, like, <laughs> just gotta, you gotta keep your significant other on their toes, you know what I mean? And, uh, I don't know. I, I, I can't really do a cartwheel. Can I get a, can I get a, can I get a temperature check on, in this chat? I genuinely cannot do a cartwheel. Can I, can I get a one in chat if you're confident about your cartwheel? I just want to see if this is like a common thing that, you know, that happens with, with other people. A lot of twos, not a lot of people confident in their car wheels mahjong jen I'm, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing if you got it you gotta flaunt it doing a car wheel is cool but anyway this kid this this kid was going this kid was going off with the with the cartwheels no regard for other people's uh space by the way and that's the thing about oh no oh no another door it's, uh, no i had to though you know what i mean I had to do it to him. At least we only deal into a one, one hot hand. I had to go for the gold. I'm going to show up at the Olympics. I'm going to satisfy with bronze. No. Going home with the gold. Get rich or die trying. You know what I mean? Uh, trying to sneak away that three of characters is a dangerous tile before things got a little too hot and heavy. Kids have no... Kids were just pressed up against the glass the whole time. You know what I mean? You go to the reptile exhibit. There's a child that's breathing, creating fog on the glass. 
you know, you know what? They're living their best life. I'm not even, I can't even do anything about that. And here's the thing about going to the adult, going to the zoo as an adult, right? I felt really, really out of place. Uh, maybe a pure straight here, right? I would usually get rid of this, but maybe pure straight here. I, I don't know. Doesn't seem that good, but uh, the rest of our head is really bad, actually. We could accept the Dora, which is the only good thing. Anyway, uh, going to the zoo as an adult is a weird experience for me. It's very, very difficult because, for example, when I'm leaning against the railing and I'm looking at uh, monkeys, for example, Dude, there are a lot of monkeys touching themselves. I don't know. I I don't know a polite way to to say this. Okay, there were a lot of monkeys touching the, the, the themselves, and also we saw a bear that was lying on its back. That was also just. How do I want to say this? I don't want to say this politely. Just go into town, solo mode. Okay, me every day of the week from ages 13 through now, okay? But anyway, if a kid wanted to, <laughs> this is a horrible, if this is a horrible transition, but if we were looking at the monkeys doing something normal, like like we saw a monkey that was very, very sleepy. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. The monkey was like yawning like, ah, and like, just like lying down on a little branch. If a kid behind me is like, look, look, a monkey. I no longer feel good about standing where I'm standing. Does that make sense? I'm like, like, there is a right and wrong in the universe. And the right thing to do is to back up so that this child who has never experienced this joy before can see the effing animal that we're looking at. The wrong thing to do is to continue blocking the child. Like, hey, I was here first. I waited in line at the railing. So the whole time at the zoo, I was like, the whole time at the zoo, I was like, oh, I mean, come on. What am I, what am I going to do here? Let's just let the kids, let's just let the kids look at the monkey. So I didn't, I didn't get to see a lot of the animals. I'm not going to, what am I going to, I'm going to get up in a kid's face and be like, what, what, so what, so what? I'm going to box him out? Like on the freaking pistons going for a rebound under the, under the net? No, dude, you let the kids see the animals. It's hard being an adult at the zoo. Astral, good tidings. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I talked a big game about this, but I, oh, hang on. What do I even throw here? What do I even Henry David throw here? This hand is like good is the problem. You know, you know what I mean? This hand is like pretty, is like beef good enough. All the sixes are gone. I can maybe fold like this. I can maybe fold like this. Get rid of the seven, eight. Still go for Tanya. All right. If, if, they, if they get it, they get it. I talked a big game at the zoo, right? I was going to bring my Pokemon Go auto catcher. I was, you know, it's kind of like, uh... <laughs> Why is this the comparison? It's kind of like, you know, uh, why is this stream so NSFW, but my mind is going there, so I'm just going to do it. It's kind of like, <laughs> it's it, it's kind of like wearing a device that vibrates in public. Oh, we're just going to say it. We're just going to say it. And it's like, oh, nobody else knows but me. And the person that's like controlling the, this is the worst stream I've ever done. This is the worst stream I've ever done. But anyways, I, I took my, this is, <laughs> I took my Pokemon Go auto catcher to the zoo. And what I'm trying to say is if we can all calm down, what I'm trying to say is like, it was my sexy secret that I had at the zoo, if that makes any sense. Hang on, five, six. Um, I don't know even remotely what I throw right now. What I Henry David throw right now. Surely I, oh Christ. Oh, I mean, I don't, I, I love the, don't get me wrong. I'm a little gremlin. I love the idea of going for Tanya. I think maybe throwing this was better, but eesh, this is a difficult situation. I think the six is gone and I think the eight is gone. I mean, that's a weirdo, but there's no way I'm getting rid of the five, right? Five is red five Dora. Astral, thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the kind words. I'm sorry I had to join on this stream. SHPP, good tidings. But I was going to be like, you know, I was going to show up at the zoo. On the surface, it was like, oh, I'm here to, to hang out with family, right? To have a good time, to see the animals. But my sexy little secret was that the whole time I was going to be catching Pokemon. There's no service at the zoo. There's no service... Anywhere in the zoo, I, I also think that I uncovered, 
like a little bit of a conspiracy. Could have gone for the pure straight, but the, come on, what are we going to do there? I, I, I think that I uncovered a little bit of a conspiracy because constantly my phone was showing three or four bars, but it was unable to load anything. Gmail, Pokemon Go, nothing. So the, my, my entire plan kind of fell into pieces. I, I could no longer play Pokemon Go in secret. What I had to do was I roll, enjoy my time at the zoo and look at the animals. I know. I know. It's like, hey, if you want to say, can I get a one in chat if you want to just express your general condolences? I'll, I'll take I'll take some general condolences here. Another weird thing happened to me at the zoo, okay? Another weird thing happened to me at the zoo. This is this is bad. What I'm doing here is bad, but now I'm like, I'm I'm sipping on that. I'm drunk. I'm drunk at the wheel. Are you kidding me? Um, why am I going so hard for Tanya? Really? Really? It's gonna be one of these. A little five, six, seven, Sanchoks, Dora, Red Five, Red Five? I mean, I'm okay with that. I would have been so pissed, girl Luigi. The fact that I had to actually touch grass, aka touch hay or whatever, so genuinely disappointing. Genuinely disappointing. Leave a one star review. The pandas, they don't do nothing. I don't even know if there were pandas there, but and, and there was no service and I couldn't play Pokemon Go, which is honestly very insulting because I go for this, by the way, because there's so many Pokestops there. You want me to play Pokemon Go, don't you? You know? Anyway, uh, this is this is the most risque NSFW video that I've ever created. Another weird thing happened to me at the zoo. I, I go up to every animal at every exhibit and it's going to sound like this is a controlled behavior but it's not. I go up to every single animal at the zoo and, oh. I mean, I'm not folding that hand. Tanya, Red 5, Red 5, Dora. I'm not folding that hand. I think this is the price of doing, this is the, the cost of doing business. I am okay with that. Um, I go up to every single animal and a, a hello spills out of my soul. Like if I see a cute bear, hello. See a cute monkey, hello. You busy? I'm just talking to the animals. I'm yap yap yapping away, okay? Sockma, good tidings. Is that a is that a ligma? If you're a cop, you have to tell us. I shouldn't have thrown that away, dude. The door is the three of characters. Welcome, good tidings. Um. Anyway, I say hello to all the animals. I said hello to one of them, and and the guy next to me, who I did not know, a stranger. I was like hello, and then the elderly man next to me went hello hello like the beatles song <laughs> i i and i just like looked at beth afterwards and she looked at me and my draw was a gape like i i joke around right but i i i i like, I need your consent to joke around. You know what I mean? I need the social environment to be one such that joking around is acceptable. You did not have my permission to interject with your bit during my day, stranger. It was wild. It was wild. I met Ringo. I met Ringo at the zoo. That was weird. That was weird. Also, we saw uh, this was a pretty rare occurrence, I think. I, I don't know if this is uh, true, if this is false. Uh, hang on. I think I throw this and this. I don't know. Three pairs with an open hand. Dana Chiba in Richie Book 1 would never steer me wrong, right? Three pairs for an open hand, no album out. I think this is this is an okay schmoove to do. Do I secretly wish that I had my... Um, five six six shape here oh absolutely but i had no guarantee that i was going to draw into another pair right Hazanov, good tidings we saw the polar bears they looked like you know they're supposed to be white but they, they they looked like a little like a little dirty like they haven't showered in a while look i'm not complaining right it was cool to see the polar bears but we didn't get to see the polar bears last time and it was empty for a while and, and the polar bears like came out after a long time and what they did was like they they took a they just walked around their enclosure. Obviously, everyone was foaming at the mouth for them to like, you know, do a little bit of swimming, right? But they they just like they just did a lap around the grass and then went right back into like the 
You know, every every zoo enclosure like has like a back stage area where the animals are like fed and where they, you know, see the see the vet and stuff. I mean, I don't know what goes on back there, but I can only assume can only assume that they're that they're you know gonna go see the vet or something back there. They went right back in there. It was cool to see the. Uh, Okay, they're in Tenpai, I'm in Tenpai. It's a metaphysical battle. It's it's a duel to the death right now. What do I want to see? Uh, six of bamboo would be nice. Our winning tile would be nice as well. Hold these L's, bozo. Um, so, but, but polar bears were cool. I also, re we, we also saw some weird frogs there. And I, I hate to offend anyone here. I genuinely hate to offend anyone here. But, like, if frogs are your favorite animal, turn the stream off right now. I think frogs are freaking weird, dude. We saw a frog that was like light blue. It was like an Adobe Photoshop ad. You know what I mean? Like the frog was so vibrant of a color. I thought I was like, an, I, I thought I was getting like watching a YouTube ad for the Adobe suite. Like, oh, bring your dreams to life with it. Nah, dude, take your photography to the next level. Nah, dude, frogs are so weird. It moved a little like, and I was Ugh! like, I, I genuinely could not do it. And I am, I am open-minded about nature in general. I'm like, oh yeah. Everything's, you know, got its time. It's all part of the healthy ecosystem. I'm an adult. I can rationalize that all animals are important for a functioning ecosystem. Can't do, can't do frogs. Oh, cannot do frogs. Absolutely not. Kermit? I mean, Kermit's not slimy. You know what I mean? Hey, if I'm afraid of slimy things, uh, uh, I guess I better stay away from Capitol Hill. Ghost Punk? Thank you for the 10 months. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. If everyone in this chat donated one Han, one Han each, we could have a quadruple Yakumon right now. Ghost Punk, did you just come in here and appropriate of nothing? Subscribe for 10 months and drop a Wikipedia donation ad? Mahjong joke on everyone? Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. That's very, very kind. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I want Richie Pinfu. Give me the, give me the two of circles and free my soul. Methamphetamines to good tidings. That's a weird thing to say out loud, but welcome, Ian Taylor War. Good tidings, good tidings, by the way. Welcome, welcome. I uh that's that's basically all my zoo anecdotes. I know we didn't have a lot of time, but some 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 fun things that we also did. I mean, those are my anecdotes. I can tell you some other factoids at the zoo, right? Some other factoids at the zoo. We got kettle corn. Was it uh priced? at an extortionary rate yes absolutely was it very very yummy on a tiring day where we were walking around a lot oh absolutely beth and i shared a bucket of kettle corn we also shared a frozen banana we we kind of went wet and wild <laughs> sorry we, but but that's it's just true we kind of went wet and wild with the snacks we got a frozen banana and we got a bucket of kettle corn it was simply sublime okay a crossler dealer richie Richie Ipatsu Sumo. This is at least three Han. Please. Oh, it's Sanshoku. Oh, it's over. It's genuinely over. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's over, man. Oh. All right. Well, Crosslords now become the player to beat. Very, very, very unfortunate. Uh, kettle corn was great. Frozen banana was great. Again, I, I, I noticed again at the zoo how there's alcohol everywhere. And also, I don't understand this, but some people, and I'm not trying to like, you know, fashion police anyone, right? I'm not trying to fashion police anyone, but some people go to the zoo as if they're going to a rave. Like genuinely, like the fashion choices were just very odd. I, I did not expect people to be like decked out in, you know, like, like they're going to a party, but I suppose with all that alcohol in the mix, all these fun little snacks and such in the, in the environment, people are going to get a little loose. People are going to blame it on the juice. I did not have a single drop of alcohol, though. Still had a, still had a great time. Unfortunately, I had to get a Dasani water. Could have been better. But uh, other than that, it's, other than that, food was generally okay. I have to tell you a story, okay? I have to tell you a story about the night before where uh I don't I I don't know how to tell you this story but I but I do need to tell you this story. I, I'll foreshadow it this way. Antonius good tidings. Giant Robo Sloth good tidings. This is the most I felt like a piece of shit in my entire life, okay? It's the most I felt like a POS 
in my entire my entire life so far so far i'm gonna i'm gonna make use of the door country country boys make use of the door okay um just lock that in balatro style uh this is the worst i've felt about myself in in quite some time i i, I believe i've said this all already but i don't know i don't know um uh, yeah three is gone i mean we can accept the six and the six and the eight that's not even that bad the night before or the, we woke up before going to the zoo and i saw that beth had not charged her phone and beth often and if she's watching the stream say this affectionately beth often does not charge her phone and we'll be hanging out and it'll be like 2 p.m and it's like low battery it's like five percent battery and i'm like <sighs> as someone who is like an anxious andy right i like to be prepared for the situation my my phone is usually at a healthy healthy level of battery because i charge my phone at night anyway woke up we're going to the zoo it's a day where you definitely need your phone to be full or close to it right and we're gonna play some pokemon go it's it's certainly a drain on the battery and so I, I saw that Beth's phone wasn't charged from the night before. And sometimes I like to say jokingly, even though we are not married, like, ah, my wife, like, so I said, ah, my wife, she doesn't charge her phone. And then Beth turned to me and said, yes, because I forgot to charge it last night because I fell asleep holding you. It's the most I felt like a piece of shit in my entire life. It was, it was the worst I felt about myself in my entire life. I, I, pref I apologized. I apologized. And we got, um, and you know, and it, we charged it that day. Guess what? It was fine. Camila, welcome to the stream. Good tidings. Coming in on a wholesome story. I thought people were going to be more lamowing rather than, uh-oh. I mean, this is great news for us. Look, it's not good for us in the sense that a crossword's going off. Dealing into Sanshoku again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's not good, but Tony the Tiger voice, it's great. Because now we can get second place very, very easily, okay? Um, so these, are just some, these are just some stories from the zoo weekend. We, we also learned this very funny thing that uh, Beth's dad does, which is when when Beth's mom is driving, Beth's dad will, and I say this super, super affectionately. If, if, they're, if they're watching right now, thank you so much for a lovely weekend at the zoo, for hosting us. I, I genuinely had a great time. I cannot wait to be in your company again. But Beth's dad sometimes will go like, look at that, and his arm will just like go right across his, her, her, Beth's mom's face. It's a very funny thing that happens. It's, it's dangerous. It's, it's absolutely dangerous, but it's a very funny thing to do. Not on purpose, and you shouldn't do it as a bit. Don't get me wrong. The bit monster inside of me, because, you know, something of a world-class comedian. The, the bit monster inside of me, as soon as I saw that, was like, I'm going to do that to Beth. But then I thought to myself, you know what you sung? Maybe you want to live. And so I'm not going to do it to Beth unless we're parked somewhere. In which case, covering up someone's eyes by going, look at that. Very funny thing to do. Very funny thing to do. And I have one last anecdote, okay? I've been ripping through my anecdotes. Hopefully, hopefully you've enjoyed you sung story hour. YSH. Can I get a can I get a one in chat? If your soul feels a little tickled. If you're if the nourishment of the human heart is is has been completed. If if it's uh you know, if we're if we're munching on chicken soup for the soul. Uh the last thing that we the last thing that we did was after the zoo, we went to uh, Tapa's restaurant, okay? But we went as a group of nine. And the thing about going to a Tapa's restaurant where it's not like you get a bunch of big plates, like each person gets their entree. It's a bunch of small plates to share. The thing about ordering Tapa's as a group of nine is that very quickly, by the way, I'm gonna chi this. Lord told me how to say chi to this. I, I have to, this hand can kill another human being. I think I have, 
full flush three Dora. Five plus three is eight Han. Oh, this is a Baimon? This is legit a Baimon? Oh, but it's so spicy. Is this the kiss of death? Huh? A lot of the sevens are gone. No one can have a seven, eight, but you can still have a four, five. Oh, and you can still have the, the red five of circles as well. Oh, Lord, tell me how to say no to this. I don't know how to say no to this. This feels so bad, man. This feels so bad, man. The thing about the tapas is that uh, if you order as a large group, it no longer becomes eating at a tapas restaurant. It becomes a speed eating challenge of clearing some plates before the next plates come because there's no more room at the table. So that was a fun little experience. If you want me to recount you what I ate that night, I literally cannot remember. I was just so stressed out the entire time. I was also, I don't know why, but I volunteered to cut the bread for, for, for like there were two small loaves of bread for, for the table. I volunteered to cut one of them because I wanted to be helpful. Try to get some brownie points. Most fucked up looking pieces of bread I've ever seen in my entire life. It was humiliating, folks. This is, I don't, I don't, I don't know why I try. Keep that in mind. I designed this rhyme. It's explain in due time. All these plates. That was the zoo weekend, folks. That was absolutely the zoo weekend. That has been my TED talk. Would I do it again? Yeah, but probably not for a while. You know what I mean? I'll absolutely cheat here. If someone deals in with the four of bamboo, they are going to taste death. Okay, they are actually gonna taste death here. If a cross lord, you deal a four right now, you, oh my God, they might because they, they know it's safe. Oh, that would have been so delicious, man. Oh my God, we had the opportunity to change the world there. We genuinely had the opportunity to change the world there. If a cross lord dealt in, would have been game, game ogre for them. All right, uh, two Dora for a verse, no album out. Incredible, incredible little draws here. Nut draw for us. Southwind, Kiefer Southernwind would be nice. Red Eyes Black Dragon would also be nice. I've heard of cutting the cheese, but cutting the bread? <laughs> Speaking of cutting the cheese, holy, and this is a dangerous, you know, line of storytelling to go into. Yesterday after we did a Pokemon Go Community Day, we got a Domino's pizza. Myself, Beth, and Beth's roommate. We got a... This is a disgusting hand. Richie, Pinfu, Dora, Dora. Circle, circle, dot, dot. Holy moly. We, uh, we got some Domino's pizza. I have been a gas factory since last night. The, there is nothing even suspicious on... This is... I don't know why I'm telling you, but I, but I, I believe we're all friends here. I believe that we've crossed that parasocial boundary. There was nothing weird on the pizza. I'll tell you what was on the pizza, okay? Oh, now we can even draw. Oh, oh, how how utterly divine it would be to uh to draw into another six of six of bamboo. I think I should just go for the low value hand though, right? I'm like, I think what we're aiming to do is just get second place here in this game, but I want a cross alert to taste the ult to taste just a little appetizer that is death. You know what I mean? I want I want to be able to ruin them and have a chance to get back into get back into contention for first place. Yeah, okay, there's greedy. I mean there's Pinfu and then there's accepting another Dora. I'm just gonna take Pinfu, right? Ricci, Pinfu, Dora, Dora versus Ricci, Dora, Dora, Dora. The mini points are better with the second one, but I'll, I'll just take Pinfu here. If we sumo, it's still a guaranteed manga. And if they give us Ipatsu, it's also a guaranteed manga, right? So feeling feeling pretty okay about that. What was on the pizza? Pepperoni, spinach, much, spinach, much. Oh my god! Spinach, mushroom, and that was it. I don't know if it's because like, at Domino's, name drop. At Domino's, we had an amazing deal by the way. It was one large pizza for ten ninety nine. It was like something ludicrous, especially in a major metropolitan area. I thought it was, I thought it was like stealing. You know what I mean? It was an incredible deal. Uh, but I think they, they, this isn't what they do, but this is what I think they, they do. On their crust, they brush, like, dry flour. Can I get a one in chat if this is actually what they do? Left Lord, I apologize. I have to slurp you. I've got to slurp you for all your worth. I'm more of a sub in those. You're talking about the Dom sub dichotomy. It's what they do. It is genuinely what they do. Oh, I just killed them. All right, I mean. <sighs> We wanted to change the world, but a second, you know what? Incremental change. You know what I mean? 
passing legislation to limit the fossil fuel emission. This is a plus 69. Oh, it's auspicious, folks. It is a flavor dust. I think that the flavor dust, whatever the flavor dust is, uh, which is my nickname for cocaine. Whatever the flavor dust is, I've got like celiac disease. I've got, I'm, I'm like allergic to that specifically. I don't think I'm full on celiac disease where I can't eat gluten, but whatever dust they're sprinkling on top of the, uh, of the, of the pizza dough, I gotta keep myself away from any tornadoes. I'll just say that much. Real lore masters will know that's gonna do it for that game. Pay out the semi-believers.